Hello everyone, Mysterious15 here, also known as Luna. And today, on this, in this video, I'm going to show you how to defeat a uh, strong boss in Arino Sarugi. Alright. You fight this boss pretty early in the game, so... There's a little bit of spoilers, but... Alright. The recommended levels... Uh, 12 to 13, so as you can tell, I got my party up to level 13. Now, there's some equipment you get before you fight this boss, so here's some of the equipment you should have on the characters. That's for Hitoshi, not for Taro. And now for say, other equipment here is exactly what you need to take on this boss. What you want to do is make sure you have a good amount of brave and calm juices, because you are going to need it, because this is going to be one long battle. Hmm. Looks like I'm low on smelling salts. Yeah, I'm good. You get the get the supreme potion here early, but it's best to save it because you will need it later on in the game. Even though you get a lot of them later, you just want to stack them up because some later bosses will be harder than this. <laughs> All right. Oh, right. I should have mute this. There we go. Sorry about it being quiet. The guy had it muted. All right. Now let's go face this boss. Just let me fix this up for y'all. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Use this just in case, you know. It'll get a little tricky. Alright. Yes, the... Yes, we're about to fight the boss here. You want to at least try to beat this boss, or beat Masako, because if you do, you get a really rare item from her that you can only get from her, and it's really essential to use, because it's an equipment item, you can equip it to Taro, and it'll cut all his magic use down to half. Alright. Just 
just so you know, Masako here has 28,000 HP, so be prepared for a long battle and grueling too. Let's get everyone powered up and ready for a full frontal attack. Ah, damn! Yeah, Discorded really hits you hard with the status problems. Because there's not many items you have right now that can get rid of that stuff. Let's see if I got anything that can save him. Ooh. Yeah, I can use that, so... Alright. First things first. We gotta try to lower her, her agility. So that way you can uh, be able to do a lot more damage faster. Let's see now. Yeah, let's try to get saved back on the speed here. Yeah, Wasako's magic is really powerful, so expect some heavy hits from her. You have to make sure that Taro's agility stays up, because he is your best bet for surviving this fight. Run. Ignit indignation is bad, but also good at the same time because it helps get the uh, limit attacks up to full strength. So. Yeah. This is going to be a tricky fight. Like I said, 20,000 HP. It's gonna be a long one. Ooh, five turns already. Damn. Let's see how you sh Get some calm juice, Taro. Yeah, so he's the fastest one out of the group, so. It's, it's best to use his speed to your advantage. If you're not careful, you could end up getting defeated badly. Now, Power Well is something you have to be aware of because, as you can tell, it basically destroys your MP, draining it down to zero. And that's something you want to make sure that doesn't happen to uh, Taro because he's your main healer. And without his healing, you're basically in trouble. Let's do some damage to Masako here. Ah, I was afraid of that. Thankfully she didn't do an attack this turn. So... Let's see. Yeah, you want to use Mana Nectar to get the strength back. Let's do a blow weapon. Yeah, don't worry about getting Hitoshi's and uh, Sei's MP back up. Just focus on Taro's. Now let's do a few more quick... Oh. Sorry folks, I'm out of time for right now, so... We'll be right back to continue this fight.